Okay, so man, we've just witnessed uh, Anthony Joshua beat Alexander Povetkin in a very good fight. Uh, in a fight that, you know, early on, you look, it looked like, you know, Joshua was struggling. Uh, Povetkin landed some big shots. Uh, what did you make of the overall fight? Um, I thought Povetkin started quite um, fast, actually. Um, I think he came in, came in quite lighter. Came in around 15th stone. Um, yeah, I thought, to start off with, I had the first couple of rounds to Povetkin. And I think after that, um, Joshua really took over. Um, I was watching one, uh, an interview from Paulie Malinaji. Um, the character Joshua showed was brilliant today because he, he got hit and I think he broke his uh, nose in, I think it was the second round or first round. Um, but even Paulie Malinaji was saying that Joshua was going to the body and Povetkin was just, Povetkin was just thinking that Joshua was just going to jab to the body and then Joshua came in with the overhand right and that's what did the damage really and then obviously Joshua took him out in the seventh um, in style. So... It was it was a it was a great performance by Povetkin as well. It looked like Povetkin early on might could it look you know it looked scary if you're an AJ fan. It looked like Povetkin was gonna knock Joshua out in those first couple of rounds. I uh, personally felt like that. I don't think even if he had dropped Joshua, I don't think it would have. I think Joshua would have kept coming, unless Povetkin landed a punch where he just like knocked out uh, Joshua cold. But even if Povetkin was to drop Joshua, was to drop the Joshua in that fight. I don't think he would have uh, KO'd him because I think Joshua would just keep coming. He just keep getting up and keep coming. Um, but I thought Joshua performed really well today. He sent a statement out. And he got a knockout in the se in the seventh round against a tough opponent like Alexander Povetkin. Loads of people actually thought he'd go the distance like Malinaji. So you know it's good. And now they obviously build this build a fight with Wilder as well in April. Hopefully if they can get it on. Uh, do you think? Um... It was a good performance from a defensive point of view. Um, obviously, um, he hit him quite a lot. Uh, Povetkin hit Anthony Joshua. It looked, he looked quite easy to hit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, when you look at the other fighters out there like Wilder, um, you don't you don't want to be easy to hit against someone like Wilder. But, yeah, but no, the thing is with Wilder, Wilder isn't really easy to hit as well. He's quite elusive. But I, th I was hearing rumours that um, I think Eddie Hearn and Tony Bell, you said that Anthony Joshua was really ill. Like he yeah. had a really bad flu or something, so maybe that maybe that could have affected him coming into this fight as well. But uh, as Paul, yeah, Bannon but you can't have. I don't know whether you can make excuses. Yeah, but like he's not that. making excuses. But at the end of the day, he won the fight. But what I'm yeah. trying to say, like even uh, Paulie Malinaji said, regardless of the situation, like against Takam, he then his nose went, but he still showed showed true character and came through the fight. He's like he always finds a way to win, and I I've not. In, in my opinion, I've not seen a while that have to go through that adversity. Not, not even would, against Ortiz? But the thing is, to be honest, I don't think he was really hurt in that Ortiz fight, in my opinion. Yeah, I he think was he, hurt. Yeah, but after that about? one round, I, don't, I think he really got away. Ortiz let him get away with it. For example, Joshua was completely gone in that Klitschko fight. What, so you think Wilder, Ortiz didn't land flush shots on Wilder's yeah, chin? Did, but I don't think he was worse than Joshua. No chance. You can't tell me that or, Wilder was in a worse... Yeah, but it's not Joshua. about a worse situation. Wilder might have a better chin than Joshua, mm, but the thing is, uh, but the but the thing is, you can't say that. Oh, what Wilder Wilder wasn't in a situation. He was clearly wobbled, and he was I'm seconds away from being stopped. He was very close to being I stopped. The referee was going to stop the fight. It, just, if it was another twenty, if that round was another forty seconds, thirty seconds longer, I reckon the referee would have stopped the fight. But I just think Joshua's a very. I don't think he gets. Yeah, he got hit by Klitschko. He got dropped. But you have to realise the previous round, before that round, Joshua was gassed out. He, that punch, you got to realise, when you're gassed out already and then a, you get a solid punch like that from Klitschko, you're going to go down because you're already gassed out from the previous round so you don't have no energy to take shots. Yeah, but it's not, it's not, it's not just that. It's accumulation of what Joshua's done in his career. He's shown, he's shown vulnerability before. It's not like... It's not like, you know, like Wilder, for example. He's, I haven't really seen Wilder down. Like, yes, amateur. He's not really fought anyone. The first guy he really fought, he... he yeah, but... Yeah, but vulnerability. Any, any, anyone, any, any... Like, any fighter in a heavyweight division, you might fight be fighting bums, yes. But any heavyweight fighter can hurt you. And Wilder's not really been hurt that... Like, yeah, yeah Molina... He hasn't because he's not really... Molina, Molina, but obviously that's not... But that's... But the thing is, Wilder's not really... Yes, he's fought Ortiz. Ortiz is probably one of the best heavyweight fighters. You've got to realise the people that have hurt Joshua, most of them have been top fighters. Like, 
name me one fighter that was not really a top fighter. So all of them are top fighters. Dylan White's a top fighter. I, I would say fighter. I would say Povetkin hurt him today. I would yeah, say Povetkin yeah, wobbled him. But, but, but he didn't really. He just wobbled. He wobbled. Yeah, he wobbled him. But it yeah, but he looked his like his legs like he didn't look at comfort. He didn't look at ease whenever Povetkin was attacking him. Joshua looked uncomfortable. But he just, the thing is with Joshua, he can take a shot. I've seen it. He was too, even that overhand right, that Povetkin. A lot of people would have been. Yeah, but the thing is, Joshua was riding that overhand right. He didn't land it flush like he was did to David Price. If he had landed it flush, it might have been a different story. Um, even that, you got to realize when he wobbled Joshua in the first round, that wasn't even a flush shot. That that wasn't a flush. That wasn't a flush. He didn't connect pro that word. Povetkin was having struck because obviously Joshua was a lot bigger. Wilder's not going to have those issues to yeah, land. Yeah, yeah. I think that Wilder's a lot more... Um, he, he, Wilder has a lot... He's going to have a much... He's much like a longer type of person. Povetkin's more of an inside fighter. Obviously, Wilder's going to fight more at range with Joshua. Because what Wilder's going to do coming into the fight, he's going to try to keep Joshua on the jab and then try to get that right hand. Cause, but the thing is with... I don't. The thing is, Joshua's gonna see that right hand coming because what it's gonna be such a. It's gonna be. You oh, say that, but he, didn't, he couldn't see Povetkin's right hands coming today. He got hit with a lot of them. Yeah, but it's more it, close, so a lot more quicker. Like I think with the Wilder fight, it's gonna be more at long range. Yeah, so I know it's it, at long range. Yeah, I think both of them will see each other's punches, you, but we never know. I think that's a 50 50 fight in my opinion. The thing is, Wilder but needs if, one punch. Yeah, mm -hmm. Wilder needs. More. But do you know? Even today, I've seen that. Do you know Joshua? He's got. He's quite defensively good as well. Like he can. I he I, can slip I, few shots as well. I don't think. I don't. The differences between the two. I feel Joshua's got power, but I think if Wilder, if that, if that was Wilder hitting Jock Povetkin with that right hand, Povetkin's not getting back up. He, he's going to sleep. And I think, I think, I think it, Joshua hasn't got the Wilder type of power. Joshua hasn't got the type of power where he can hit you and hurt you and get your attention. But if you look at it, whenever he's come at the elite level, those guys have got back up. Yeah. Klitschko got back up about three, four times. And he's got a good power. He's definitely got enough power. But yeah, Wilder's got, got the power. kind of power where he hits you, you're going to sleep. you like, he's like, look, yeah. at the way he's, look, look at the way he's got his knockouts. All his knockouts are devastating knockouts. Even against Ortiz, it was a devastating knockout. Ortiz was on the floor. And Ortiz, as we know, has got a granite chin. You know, that's, that's, Ortiz, everybody knows that in the trade, that in terms of his the chin. The thing is, with what, the way Wilder fights, he's, the, when he fought in the Ortiz fight in the fifth round, when he wobbled Ortiz, if he wobbles you, that's the problem. That's where fighters will have a problem because you can't, you, the only way out from that situation is if you keep just, fighting back. Just put it, just put it this way. In that first round, the way Povetkin hurt Joshua, just say, the way he kind of seen, what do you think if that was Wilder, what would he have done? If that was Wilder, I thought, I think Wilder would have gone for, tried to take it, got him out of there. But you got to realize, it, it depends how solid the punch was, because you got to realize if Wilder went, then went in, but Joshua wasn't as hurt, and then Joshua stopped throwing back. I've seen Wilder, he, when someone tries putting it on him as well, he really runs back as well. He doesn't really like taking punishment himself. He likes to dish out punishment. But when the punishment goes on him, then you then we'll see how he can re, how he'll react. Yeah, but to we it. did see that because I've seen Joshua now in loads of fights. Because Joshua's, he gets hit. I, I don't care what he gets hit. Even against Takam, uh, against Dillian White, Klitschko, even in this Povetkin fight, he gets hit. So we know that he, he if, if he gets hit, he, he's not just going to... I'm not saying Wilder's not going to, you know, uh, show resilience, but I know for 110% that Joshua isn't going to back off. He's going he's gonna to fight. He, if the fight against Wilder is a very, very good fight because you just don't know because they're both there. They're both going to give the 100% and they're both going to, you know, fight to the death. And that, that's just brilliant. It's going to be a... And I know for hundred percent that fight's a knockout. I don't see it going. To, it can't go twelve rounds. It's impossible because Wilder he knows he needs a knockout. So I I can't wait for that fight. To be honest, I just can't wait. Yeah, so it's it's definitely going to be an exciting fight. But the, yeah. now the main thing, the main thing is it's a fight that we all want to see. All the fans are really want to see that fight badly. But it feels to me like the negotiations are stopping that fight from happening. I know for a million percent. While uh, Povetkin's no Wilder, I know Wilder. Like the thing is with him, he can literally not. The thing is that whole fight was going to be interesting because 
I know Wilder can literally put AJ, like if he connects with one punch, he can put AJ like flat, like how Klitschko did. Whether the punch will be connected hard enough where he just goes out cold, which I know he has the ability to do when you're looking at the other fights he has. Because the way I look at it, I think, listen, Anthony Joshua, he's, he, I wouldn't say he's chinny. I, I think he can take no, it. he's not chinny. But, but I would say, I would say he's vulnerable. I would say if he gets hit with a shot, he's going down. And Wilder has that kind of power where we saw with Canelo when he fought Khan. When when you when there's a guy that with extreme power and you are and you are vulnerable and you are chinny a little bit, you're going yeah, to sleep. Yeah, you're going you know, to sleep. I wouldn't. You know, to be honest, uh, if I'm going to be honest about things, you know, the fighters that have punched him are big power punchers. If you look at it, well, obviously you can't. Yeah, but Wilder them, is a big but, puncher. Yeah, but obviously Wilder's power power punch is a lot more brutal than the ones that he's been punched by previously but even Dylan White like hit him with that solid left hook. Solid but yeah shot. but you got a real what hit. happened to him he, he wobbled he, he was really struggling what I'm trying to say is anyone that vulnerable but then again Dylan White hit what, uh, Parker you supposed to have a granite chin he dropped yeah but look look how Parker got back up and how he responded yeah but, so with Joshua get yeah, but you don't understand it's up. a different type of getting back up it's a getting back up and then you turn into a robot. That's a, you're not the same. Parker was exactly the same. He didn't fight differently. His body didn't turn into jelly. Yes, Joshua gets through, but you gotta realize against Wilder, there's not many great heavyweight fighters out there right now. So it's not like it's a stacked division where they're great fighters. Klitschko was a 41 year old man that couldn't get Joshua yeah, out. Yeah, in of my there. opinion, if Wilder hit Joshua with the same punch Klitschko did, I think it's curtains because yeah. there's no way. There's no way to Wilder's say. gonna. There's only allow really. It. Let's be honest. Fury, if Fury was at his best, would have a, probably a chance against Joshua or Wilder. The rest of the guys, you'd say they're massive underdogs. But they do. Uh, well, the thing is, it's like with a, even with a Wilder fight, Wilder's going to... The thing is, Joshua knows what Wilder's plan is going to be. Because the only way J J Wilder's going to win that fight, in my opinion, is by knockout. There's no Joshua can either win on points, which I don't see it going, or knockout. So Joshua has... If you, if you were to edge to one guy... I, 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 you, you, Wilder has to catch him clean in the in twelve rounds. He has to fully catch him clean to put him out cold. Because even if he does catch him, he's gonna continue to keep getting up like how Ortiz did. And you gotta realize you can't give Joshua, you can't let Joshua up because you can't take a risk with a fighter like that with punching power like that. Because if you give, give, keep giving him a chance, he's gonna he, if he hits you, then you might be out. So it, it's gonna be a brilliant fight. I just can't I can't wait to be honest because you just don't know what's gonna happen. You know so. Yeah, we so we really we, obviously all the fans um, are probably praying this fight happens. Uh, it's a fight that everybody wants to see. I I, uh, I just have this feeling that I don't think Wilder wants to fight it here. He doesn't want to fight the. I think he will here be more comfortable fighting in America. Even with the Fury situation, I think he just wants to. Even when he was offered Joshua was offered the fifty million, I think they want to fight the uh, Joshua in America. I don't think Wilder really wants to come here to fight. I don't think if the. I just have this feeling I don't think he wants to go to America nor does Joshua because Joshua but the thing difference is with Joshua Joshua knows he's built such a like he's, he's an ambassador of, you know British boxing he doesn't want to he wants British boxing to uh, people to from America to come here he doesn't want you know him himself have to you know leave the British fans and go to America so we'll just have to I wait and we see don't really I hope care. he does come to Wembley because Wembley the Wilder and uh, Joshua fight is a Wembley fight and that's the best location, in my opinion, for the to fight. To be honest, I don't think we really care where the fight really happens. We just want to nah, see the fight. I would, I would, because the thing is that, you know, the atmosphere, all, it all builds up to... The, like, if Joshua and Klitschko is at, like, a principality, it's not the same thing. Like, yeah, but it's a lot... The, the, the vibe in, in Wembley Stadium is something different. I've not seen something like that before in my yeah, life. Like, so Joshua Klitschko, I don't think I've ever seen a better fight ever. And that it, to be honest, it was such a good fight. It was a 50 50 fight, and this one's not, it's going to be just as good. You know, it's going to be a, and when you know it's going to be a knockout as well, you don't know which way it's going to go. It's so entertaining, and it's a heavyweight division, it's not middleweight or welter. We, you know, for sure that this will this will end in a knockout. That's what that's what we can guarantee that this yeah, wilder Joshua because you've got to realize both of them, knockout. both of them are, are vulnerable around the whiskers so it can go either way and they're both the thing is they're both vulnerable around the whiskers and they both punch like absolute mules so it could go literally either way it just depends as Derek Chisora said it, whoever lands first and hits because you got to realise whoever lands first is probably going to just go, go for broke you know so 
So yeah, if I if I had to get a prediction out of you in that fight, who would you back? <laughs> I, 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 to be honest, if I was to back someone, but it's like it'd be fifty one percent Joshua while the forty nine percent. And the reason I say that is because Joshua's fought the better fight, better fighters. He has more experience in uh, world championship. Uh, he he's fought the bet like for example, Povetkin, Parker. Um, Vladimir Klitschko, Dylan White, he's fought the better opposition, so you have to go with a man that's really got the more better, he, he's seen more styles, so when it comes to the Wilder fight, you, you're guessing that Joshua is the one that's going to be able to adapt in that fight and not get him out of there. Alright, okay, thank you so much for your thoughts, and thank you for talking to Imran Mir TV, and um, guys, remember to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, I'll see you guys in the next video.